Hey guys, it's me, LC Awesome. I'm here, and welcome back with episode 93 of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, where I have just teleported over to Kakariko Village because we are going to try to get a good picture of the ring ruins. But it has to be that one, right? It, that's the most ring of all the ruins. I've also been playing around with the color correction on OBS if the game looks especially colorful today. I just really want how beautiful this game looks to come across in the actual video itself because I feel like what I see on the monitor is not always exactly what's in the video, or maybe my eyes just adjust just to the kind of lower contrast that Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom has. Okay, Ring Ruins. I need to get like a really good picture because it's going to be there for everyone to see in the stable. So let's see. Right here. Pretty good. Can even <laughs> what if every single one of the pictures I get for all of the stables is a selfie? That might be the funniest thing. Okay, this is for the wetland stable. So I'm going to wear an outfit that I think is fitting of wetland. Perfect. <laughs> oh, and there's a coral over there that I've definitely seen before, but let me just remind myself of where he's trying to go off to. Over there. Wow. Wow, that is far. Nope. Sorry, Korok. Abona! Hi! <laughs> Alright, so let's go here. Ah, Link, do you still have your eye on that empty frame? Yep. And that took that wow, this little cutscene. Or you know, I'm gonna leave that uncut just so you guys can see how long that cutscene was. <laughs> this game occasionally has those. It's just like, why is it so long? But okay, I like to paint a picture of the ring ruins. Yep, yep, yep. What I need is a big impressive picture of the ruins to use this reference. Like this one. It, it, huh? Did you bring me a picture of the ring ruins? Can I see it? Hmm. No. Aha! This is exactly the picture I asked for. I'm glad you like it. This would really liven up the look around here. Is it okay if I paint a copy? Sure. Aww. Thank you. They really are huge ruins, aren't they? Who built those and why? What was their purpose? Aww. I wonder that ruins falling out of the sky has caused such a stir all around Hyrule. Now, give me just a moment to whip up a reproduction. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm quite good at this, I promise. I can actually do that too. People can tell you that I know how to draw, but I don't know how to draw. I just know how to look at pictures and then copy them, just like this guy. Wow. Wow, beautiful. I knew it. it's perfect for this table, and it's all thanks to you, Link. <laughs> wow, such flattery. Whoa, I'm really happy with this nice big painting of the ring ruins here. <laughs> but if you have a different picture of the ring ruins, I'm happy to copy it and hang it there instead. Yes, if you ever want to see some fresh art up there, just show me an image. Show my appreciation. I'm giving you one pony point. Oh, so I'm going to get a pony point for each one? Aww. Yes, and take this too. It's something a traveler like you will find handy when faced with harsh terrain and weather. Oh, okay. Not really. Oh, Link, it looks like you saved up some pony points. If you'd like to trade them in for a reward, please head to the counter. Thank you for a truly splendid picture. <laughs> please feel free to use the stable whenever you want. Oh, I'm so glad you, you find the picture splendid. All right, go to the reward thing. This is another one. Look. Hi. Ah, yes, I'll be right with you. This is another one of those things. It's just like, yeah. takes a while. It, I don't know. It doesn't take that long. But for a video, I have to cut out these like tiny seconds wasted of just silence, basically. Like to get your pointy points reward, right? Extravagant saddle. It comes with the extravagant bridle. So here's that as well. Extravagant bridle. Ha, ah, if you save it just four more points, oh, 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 you'll be able to register one additional horse. You appreciate your patronage. All right. So that is this stable down. I wish I could put something by this stable. I guess I'll put a star. Like I've completed this stable already. What I should do is I should find the next nearest stable, Dueling Peak Stable. Let's see if we can knock out 12 pictures in one episode. Need to see. Ah, yes, you all have these empty picture frames. Ah, Link, has that empty frame caught your eye? I was gonna cut that long cutscene again. All right, all right, all right. Oh, wait, no, I actually have to read this. <laughs> Tell me, Link, do you know where to find Hyrule's most beautiful sunrise? At the east of the sea, southeast of here, is a small fishing village called Lorellin. It has a reputation as a resort town. I was literally just there. But its real claim to flame is the beautiful moment where the sun rises over the horizon and lights up the whole village. And they the most breathtaking view of the sunrise is from the summit of Tuft Mountain. I've never been up there. I'd love to see that view myself, but it's so far away. And I can't just leave work, nor can I climb mountains. If only I could see Hyrule's finest sunrise, I'd paint my own picture of it and finally put that frame to use. Okay, Tuft Mountain. One of the only places in Hyrule I haven't actually been. Oh, there even is a thing up here. Now, I wonder if I can actually make it to here. It would be a bit of a distraction, but I don't know. Let's try. This is a flux construct. I kind of wish there were more. Like, something more interesting, like a Gleok or something. But let's see what reward this gives me. I remember the last random one that I came across gave me a pretty good reward. I don't remember what it was, but it was good. All right, I assume this is a flex gun trick three. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna completely destroy him with bombs. Let's uh, get some Gibdo bones as well. Yeah. Now let's use a flex court three smasher. Boom, 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 boom. Immediately destroyed. See, that's how easy it is. There we go. Give us all of this yummy goodness. 
And you know what? I do have a mighty Zonite Longsword, so boom. Get a 63 damage. Oh, that's completely worth it. I love this. Oh, where's the chest? On him. Did it fall off? Editing me. Cut back to where the chest fell off. <laughs> Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna collect this travel medallion. I'm gonna place one here. Oh well. We are a tough mountain. Oh, at least there's a Korok up here. I could try out some archery. Let's just get this, and then we'll just get this, and then we'll get this. Pretty simple. Yeah, ha ha! Bye bye. Okay, so I wanna take a picture of Lurland Village during the sunset. I can't really tell what time it is with my pro HUD mode on, so let's just do this. You know, Bo? Won't you do the honors? Thank you. Let's see. It is 2 25 p.m. Hmm. Order. If I if I sit and wait for nighttime. Does it count as the sun setting? No, because it is already night. Or is it sunrise? Sunrise. Okay. So what about morning? Oh, <laughs> blood moon. Does this still count as, as a sunrise? Oh, does this one not count if I take a- This one doesn't count with me. No. I want it to be a selfie. Get rid of my shield. Get rid of my weapon. Get rid of my bow. <gasps> yes. It does work. The camera was locking onto my weapons and stuff. So I got rid of my weapons and then now it actually counts. Hyrule's finest sunset. Perfect. Okay, back to Dueling Peaks we go. Ah. Excuse me, I was just thinking of seeing that beautiful sunrise over Lurelin Village from the summit of Tough Mountain. I'd love to paint that view for myself, but I'm afraid my job comes first. See for yourself. Huh? Do you have a picture of Hyrule's finest sunset? Can I see it? Sunrise. Why don't I... <laughs> there you go. Aha! This is exactly the picture I asked for. This would really liven up the look around here. There it is. Hyrule's best sunrise over, sun over Lurelin. What majesty. What breathtaking natural splendor. Thank you, Link. Thank you for bringing me such an amazing... Amazing sight. <laughs> <laughs> no, just give me one whip of a reproduction. <laughs> Man, I wish people felt this way about pictures of me. <laughs> I knew it. It's perfectly stable. It's all thanks to you, Link. Doesn't it look spectacular? It wasn't the easiest painting I've ever done, but what a view. If you could top that with another... No, there's no topping that. <laughs> give me one photo point for that. <laughs> oh, yes. And please take this, too. This dish is a stable specialty. Oh, tasty apple pie. I'll also get the recipe for that as well. Thank you for a truly splendid picture. Feel free to use the stable whenever you want. Of course. All right. Where's the next stable? Lakeside stable. Let's see what you got. <laughs> this is fun. This is like a more fun version of the memory quests from Breath of the Wild, because the memory quests in Breath of the Wild were really frustrating having to find those locations. But okay. For Lakeside Sable, I choose this outfit. It's been a while mulling over what painting could be worthy of such a nice frame. Here's my thought. When it's clear out, which granted isn't often around these parts, you can get a beautiful view of Floria Falls. The best place to see it is Floria Bridge outside the stable. Wouldn't the view from there make such a make a nice painting? Problem is, I can't leave the stable unattended. And even if I could, it's rare that the weather is clear enough. Maybe there's some other way to get a panoramic view of Floria Falls on a clear day. If someone brought me a picture, for instance, then I'd be able to paint a copy and hang that up in the frame. Okay, so I need to get a picture of Floria Falls on a clear day, which today just so happens to be. Oh, right on over here. Yes, yes, of course. This is a perfect spot for taking a picture. Let's walk right here to the edge. Go here. Yeah. Link having a, Link having a fun time. I'll never get over the fact that you can hear monkeys in the Pharaon region, even though there are no mon like monkeys don't exist in this game. Okay. Picture Floria Falls on a clear day. If such a piece of art existed, it would be perfect for my stable. Like this one? Huh? Did you bring me a picture of Floria Falls on a clear day? Can you look outside? It's a clear day right now. You can walk over there. It's literally like a five minute, two minute walk. Ha! <laughs> this is exactly the picture I asked for. It's really loving to look around here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Made a copy. Ah, oh, the falls really pack a punch. No matter how many times I see them, I'm always moved beyond words. Picture will make travelers glad they made the long slippery trip to Farron. Ah, just give me a moment to whip up a reproduction, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Looks great, man. I knew it. It's perfect with the stable. It's all thanks to you, Link. Stunning, isn't it? Oh, well, thank you. Show me appreciation. Give me a pony point. I'm gonna get a whole bunch of pony points. Take this too. Tough tomato seafood soup. Oh. What if I, what if my food is full? I wonder if they just give me money. I'd be happy with that scenario. Now that is complete. Now I can go over to Highland Stable, which is right on over here. All right. I was thinking, I heard this rumor the other day about this rare horse, this giant white stallion. Oh. Sounds impressive, doesn't it? It? I mean, a white horse is pretty rare, but a giant one? And it lives nearby, they say. A picture of an impressive creature like a giant white stallion would suit that frame perfectly, I'm sure of it. Of course, the folks who told me about this horse hadn't actually seen it with their own eyes yet. They're planning to take the road to the Lake of the Horse God Southeast if you're in search of it there. If I knew for sure it was there, I would go try to get a look at it. <sighs> but I can't leave work for a rumor. I wish I had some kind of picture of that giant white stallion. If I did, I'd use it for reference and whip up a painting of it. That reminds me, I feel like I remember seeing a very large white horse among the horses we're looking after for 
were you? Exactly, that's what I was about to say. No. <laughs> it's not possible, is it? Anyway, I'd really like to see it, even just a picture of it. <laughs> in this one, I'm gonna wear the tunic of the wild. You're talking about my friend Cream. I wish I could take a selfie while on the horse, though. Oh, have you looked at the sky to the northeast? There used to be an ominous black cloud over there, constant lightning. It was enough to make me shiver. It appeared after the upheaval, but then one day, poof, it disappeared. All this stuff is a new floating island. What do you think happened there? Me, as always. Oh, you know what? I'll even get you in the picture. That'll be fun. We'll take a big old selfie together. <laughs> we got him in the background and Link. He gotta be happy. I got him in the picture. Like, that's such a rare opportunity. Giant white stallion. Does it truly exist? Just how giant is it? It's literally- You're literally looking straight at it. If only I had a picture of the giant white stallion. It would be perfect for that frame. Here's a picture. Are you serious? You're gonna show me the giant white stallion? Aha, uh -huh. this is exactly the picture I asked for. I'm even in the background. It gets more enchanting the more you look at it, doesn't it? Ah, oh, such a fine horse. Only I could ride the giant white stallion. We would race across the wide plains. My age, what's another dream to add to the pile, eh? Now, just give me a moment to whip up reproduction. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you gotta paint everything but this game gotta always do its uh black screen with the noises no. oh what a sight for sore eyes with that picture of a giant white stallion copy i can proudly display it whenever i want or if you'd rather yeah i don't need to give me a pony point oh, oh yes no oh energizing honey crepe man these people are giving me some good meals actually <laughs> every stable will know of link now okay what's the next stable riverside stable this is my outfit for this stable my mind is made up i know just what to hang on the wall a picture of a mystical Oh, blessed great goddess statue. Oh, interesting. Oh, and if you're not already aware, the great in the name refers to how big these statues are. They're quietly enshrined throughout Hyrule, but not many people know their exact locations. The closest great goddess statue to us allegedly stands in a temple southwest of Hyrule Field. Oh. But all my search attempts have come up empty. Maybe it's somewhere that's difficult to get to by horse. But I don't need to see the real thing. If I had a drawing of the great goddess statue, I could copy it down and put it up. All right, so he wants to see big goddess statue, and the one he likes the most happens to be in the Temple of Time. This will mostly be a sageless episode, but Tulin just helps so much when it comes to air traversal. Here we go. The Great Plateau, the Temple of Time, and here we are. Actually, since I am on the Great Plateau, I think I'm gonna go for a more Breath of the Wild type look, huh? You know what? No, I'll use the beginning look from this game. Ah, yes. Real good picture of the Temple of Time statue. Oh my gosh, this still counts. I'm doing it. It's just too funny. Sorry, you're taking on a Mike Wazowski role today. Great goddess statue, stand tall and tranquil, quietly enshrined all over Hyrule. If I could paint a picture of one to watch over my stable, but it would make this place feel even more peaceful. Here's a picture. <laughs> Exactly the picture I asked for. Oh my gosh. Whoa, she is tremendous. Both in terms of size and tranquil beauty. I mean, if you say so, it's... <laughs> what a divine figure she cuts. It's as if my heart is fuller just looking at her. Oh, okay, man. Okay. I I'm just a photographer. I'm just looking to sell you my pictures. There we go. What a nice picture for the stable. <laughs> it's a real blessing having, an having an image of a great goddess statue watching over us. Towering over us. Really? Give me a pony point. Oh, man. Hey, got a reward. Energizing cra crab stir fry. I've saved the pony points. I don't know why I was the great goddess statue. All right, where's the next stable? Woodland. Ah. There are these famous hot springs near Goron City, north of here. So maybe a painting of the springs would be nice? I don't know. A picture of hot water? That wouldn't be very interesting to look at, would it? What I'd really like to do is hang a picture of a Goron soaking in hot springs. Now that would be compelling. When will I have time to head over there and paint up a picture? Never! That's one. Oh. What I need is a picture of some sort. One that captures the scenery. I could use it for reference and paint up a copy. Easy. Okay. Goron, huh? This is a good outfit for that. This really reminds me of like a firebender. Which I guess is the point. I mean, I do fire damage when I attack with the full set. In a hot area specifically. Well, let's go to the hot springs. I feel kind of bad about the, the great goddess statue picture though. The fact that it's literally just a picture of Link. I don't know. Well, there's an old bluish Goron. I don't know why. I, I never even noticed that some of the Gorons are like gray. Also, I need this hot spring apparently. We're on soaking in hot springs. Imagine if this was just the picture. I also wish I could offset the camera from Link, like move it a little bit to the right so it could be more of like an actual picture of both me and him. We'll get this picture with Tulin flying in the background, why not? And then I'm just not gonna ask the Goron for permission to use this picture in the stable. Because well, why would we need to do that? It's high roll. What I'd like to do is hang up a painting of a Goron soaking in hot springs. It would be good advertising for the hot springs. It would go perfectly on the walls here since we're so close. I have a picture. Yep, oh. exactly the picture you asked for. Say, that hot spring looks like it feels wonderful. Makes me think I should ditch my post and go for a soak. <laughs> 
Who am I kidding? It's back to work for me. Now, just give me a moment to whip up a reaper day. Whenever it's just like repeated dialogue, I just don't care to read it again. Now, this is certainly a feast for the eyes. Give me one pony point. Aha. Oh, and please take this too, okay? Hasty vegetable curry. That saves up pony points. Oh, are you the little kid from Breath of the Wild that talks about the Sky Islands? Oh, this is your first time here, mister? Welcome. This is Wooden Stable. Hey, I gotta know. Are you looking for stuff that's far from the sky too? From from the sky? You don't know. Look up there. There's an island floating in the sky. You see it too, right? Yeah, there was the kid in Breath of the Wild that said like, oh, there's island stuff in the sky. Sometimes when I'm looking at the sky, a big box falls from the island. Oh, there it is. Already been up there, I'm pretty oh, sure. That means a sky person's gotta be dropping them. I always knew there was a kingdom in the sky. I've always dreamed of going up there to play with all the sky animals. But I'm still little, so I'm not allowed to go too far away. I ain't be all grown up like you, mister. Then I can go up there. Oh, yeah. That was her dream. About attire about it. Ah, this is quite the outfit you've put together. Although perhaps it could be a little more, um, coordinated. It's literally both part of the same gear. That is, a complete style would really work for you. Sorry, my eye for fashion can't help but see what it sees. For if attempted by the latest styles, the same is true for my boyfriend. Two of us were going to go buy the fire-resistant clothes all in Goron City, but just when we're about to arrive, I got tangled up with some Gorons with strange-looking rocks. I got scared and came back on my own. Luckily, I hear Goron City is completely safe again. There shouldn't be anything else keeping him away, but he still doesn't come back. I wonder what in the world he's doing. Oh, yeah, he's the guy that's going around wanting one of these. Maybe I need to buy an extra one for him. I don't know. It's not appearing as a side quest, but, but okay, we completed half of the pictures for all of the stables in the world. And to celebrate the occasion, I will cut and be wearing a different outfit myself, just like Link. Okay, well, now we continue off to the other stables. Foothill Stable. Oh, she brought the doggies over here. Cool. We're stepping stone for folks who want to do some sightseeing in Goron City off to the northwest. So I was thinking, maybe I'll hang a painting of the sculpture of the Goron champion, Daruk. You know, the big statue that's sculpted into the mountain overlooking the city? Mm. Ah, but I'll need to go get a look at it if I'm going to paint it. There's just no time for that. If I had some kind of image to use as reference, well, I'd be no problem to paint up something nice for the wall, huh? Oh, gee, yeah, okay. I gotta go back to Goron City. I guess it's because it's the two stables that are next to Goron City. You can actually get a pretty good look at it from here. Over here might be an even better look. Yeah. Ooh, or over here. Picture from below. Then I go like this. Don't want it to be out of focus. That completely negates the purpose. But I mean, I, that picture of the great dad. Highly a statue still. But whatever, we're going back here. Hey, I have a picture of Daruk. Can I see it? There you go. Captures the answers of the renowned champion, don't you think? You can really sense Daruk's strength, even here. That's not the only champion strength you can tell from this picture. Here we go, once again, they gotta be painted on a black screen with a lot of sound. I knew it. Perfect for the stable. I have to say, I'm quite proud of how this turned out. Oh, it was so much fun to paint again after all this time. Fact, I'm enjoying this so much that if you end up- Oh, they always find some way to end up saying the same thing. Give me a pony point. Oh, yeah. I'll take this too. Oh, fire I don't need that. Oh, also, I just realized my green screen. That's because it's dark outside. Now, Star, go on to South Akala Stable. I asked my family what sort of picture we should put up, and we finally decided. Have you seen the Unity Bell in Tarrytown over in the east? The story goes that if two people bring it together, their love will last forever. All sorts of couples made a visit. Oh, that's kind of wholesome. Anyway, I think it would be nice to paint a picture of the Unity Bell and hang it here at the stable. All four of my daughters think it would look perfect on the wall, too. But I really need to go see it if I'm going to paint it accurately. Well, work is far too busy for me to get away. Of course, if I had a picture of the bell in front of me, I could just use that as reference. Okay. Off to Terrytown. Here. Oh. I went so fast that the game had to load for a little bit. Hasn't happened forever. There we go, the Unity Bell. Since there's a lot of Zonai technology here in Terrytown, I just wear the Zonai outfit. There we go. Take a look at this. Oh, did you bring me a picture of the Unity Bell? Can I see it? <laughs> they always ask, can I see it? Uh, yeah, paint a copy. Thank you. This sure brings back the memories. You see, I did ring it once. My wife and I rang it together, in fact. Here we are, still happy together. All thanks to that bell. That's nice. Me and who, huh? Ah, it's almost as if I can hear the bell's happy ring. I hear lots of couples have held their wedding ceremonies there. Sure, appreciation. Give me a pony point. A bunch of these. Aww. Ooh, prime meat stew. Now off to East Akala Stable. There's this big lake right to the south of here called Octorok Lake. It looks like any other lake at first glance, but when the water level rises, it takes the shape of a monster called an Octorok. That's how it got its name, I suppose. Anyway, I like to paint a picture of Octorok Lake when it looks like an Octorok and hang it on the wall. Oh, who knows? With all the monsters showing up lately, maybe it'll help keep them away. Ah. Thing is, I can't exactly leave the stable on a tenant just to go paint a picture. I've had a picture of the Octorok Lake in the Octorok shape right in front of me. Well, I'm sure I could paint it. Of course. Octorok Lake. Over here. I never actually knew that about Octorok Lake. <gasps> also, finally somewhere else that I don't have to teleport to, okay? When it looks like an Octorok, huh? How does it look like an Octorok? There's also leaves here that I need to burn. Huh? They didn't burn. Oh, hello. Oh, you broke them. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. -ha -ha. Get out of here. 
It's raining right now. Oh, the water got full and now it looks like an Octorok. Octorok shaped Octorok lake. That's cool. I'm very fortunate that it happened to rain. Any decent place I can see to take pictures from here. I can hang a picture of Octorok lake when it's in the shape of an Octorok. Snow will help keep monsters away. Ah, but I don't have time to go all the way there and paint it. It's literally really close to the stable. You want a picture like this one? I have to say, the lake really does look like a big monster. The best way to fight monsters is with your own monsters, right? Yeah, I just know this painting is going to protect us. Now we'll whip up a reproduction. Here we go. Get more noises and painting noises. Yep. It's perfect. Aha! This is just right. Now we'll have a monster of our own to protect us. I tell you, I could make pictures of Octorok Lake looking like a monster all day. <laughs> Give me a pony point. Yep. Uh, all right. And meet and rice bowl. Okay. See ya. Uh, all right. Outskirts stable. What with the upheaval and all, these are some troubled times. I'd like to show a picture that puts folk at, both folks at ease. A picture of a cherry blossom tree would be good, since we have a map of them already hung up here. Satori Mountain to the northwest has one, and I've heard folks say it's enchanting. Something really uh, special. I'd love to paint a marvel like that cherry blossom tree. I'd go paint it if I had time, but I never do. If only I had a, saw a picture of it. I'll also take a picture of this. I don't know why I never did. Must have never noticed it. Oh yeah, Satori Mountain is the place that has that really good apple tree forest. My good. I found where the bubble frog lies in Satori Mountain Cave. I'm gonna break my bow, that's okay. Give me this bubble gem, I couldn't find this guy last time. I'm just using this to ascend. Here, in a nice Satori outfit, we can take a good picture of this cherry blossom tree. Oh, this is so nice. I kinda wanna build this in Minecraft. Man, there's only so many poses I can do without weapons. There we go. Oh, this blended and wondrous cherry blossom tree. If I could paint it and display its beauty, I think it would put folks' hearts at ease. Take a look at this. That is of such a delicate color. I can already believe something that lovely exists in the world. Sing. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I hardly believe something that lovely. Singing in full blue makes me feel warm in my very soul. I whip up a reproduction. Here's the painting noises again. I knew this would make a great picture. It's just as heartwarming as I imagined. I'd pay myself a new copy of a cherry blossom. Now appreciation pony porn. Ah. And an egg tart. Interesting. Ah. Now we got our new serene stable. The only stable that's actually new. All the stable owners were given free reign over what to put in those frames. So I thought and thought about it. And I had an idea. Lady Impa visited here a while back and she told me about these geoglyph things. They showed up all over Hyrule. There's even one near the stable. I'd love to paint a picture of that one. Unfortunately, since it's so big, I can get a panoramic view of the thing. I don't even know what it's meant to depict. But I'd settle for a decent picture of the geoglyph to base my painting on. Oh, okay. I'm gonna have to use a hot air balloon for that. I have to go really high to get a decent picture of it, though. Like, this is just about the closest I think I can do. Maybe I can zoom in just a little bit. Oh, now I fell. Dang it. That's okay. I need to get a better angle anyways. I think I should place it over here. And now I should be able to get a better view. Yeah. That works. Since Impa told me about geoglyphs, I've been wishing I could get a panoramic view of one, but they're too big. I can't even tell what the no one nearby is meant to depict. Check out my picture. It's true then. Mysterious geoglyphs have been etched into the ground all over Hyrule. What this is meant to represent, I can't tell, but it certainly evokes a sense of adventure. Now, whip up a reproduction. It's funny because all the geoglyphs are based off of Zelda's memories. This is like the image that Zelda sees in her mind, I guess, based on the memory. Uh -huh. Isn't it amazing that these huge mysterious things are all over Hyrule? Show them the picture and give me a pony point. And tomatoes soup or something. I skipped through it really fast. Now it's a Brantha Bridge stable. If you cross the Samantha Great Bridge around the corner from her stable, what you'll see ruins on the mountain. I thought that ascending this place with a picture of the ancient columns greeting the sunrise might please our customers. Though when I went out before dawn to paint said picture, I found myself staring down an, emor an enormous monster. I ducked away and hurried home safely. But it's sadly impossible to paint at the actual location as things are now. Can't paint that view from memory. But if I even had a detailed picture of it, I'm sure I could recreate it for our stable. On top of the cliff. Oh, you mean these? The columns where I found the treasure and fought the Glia. At least that guy out of all of them actually went to the location. And yet again, we will go past these guys that I've been putting off for the entire series. Recall. All right, there's been a blood moon. That guy's back. Oh, don't mind me. Hi. No, no. My goodness gracious. No, I've already defeated you. Go away. There we go. Goodbye. Are these not the columns? Oh, right. It has to be at sunrise specifically for some reason. This works. This wall is where I would display my paintings of the ancient columns bathed in the light of the sunrise. If only I had one. Imagine how pleased our customers would be to gaze on a site like that. I've got a picture. When I look at this picture, I think about gathering up my family one day to take a look at the real thing. There's no way we could close the stable to do so, of course, but that only makes me more grateful for your kindness. I whip up a reproduction. Painting noises happen all the time. Stable. It's miraculous that such an old ruin has remained so well preserved. Uh, I guess. And give me one pony point for, for appreciation. Take a hasty oh. elixir. Alright, now Snowfield Stable. I think this may be the penultimate picture. I wonder if it'll have me take a picture of the uh, Forgotten Temple. Or maybe the Ice Gliok. I've been putting a lot of thought into what might be a good painting to pair with that frame. I finally made my decision. I want a picture of the giant bird with wings spread wide in the Hebrew Mountains. Oh my gosh. <sighs> I gotta take a picture of that again. Tell me, have you seen the Lone Cedar Tree growing on Tlanto Peak? The southernmost Hebrew Mountain? If you look to the northwest 
west from that tree on a clear day. You can see the form of a giant bird on the mountainside. Mm. I've never seen the real thing, though. I'd go if I could, but there's no way I can leave the stable unattended. How magnificent it must be. Thinking of that giant bird stretching his wings in the Hebrew Mountains gives me chills. Oh, I wish I could put its likeness on the wall. Even copying it from a decent picture would be enough for me. Okay. That one's actually going to be a bit annoying to get. Here we are towards Salanto Peak. Well, at least it's bringing me towards somewhere I've never been. All right. Now I'm going to cut down this lone tree just because I did that in Breath of the Wild as well. All right. Bird with outstretched wings. All right. That works. All right. This is Byron Snowfield where I fought the Ice Glia. And in Breath of the Wild, there was actually a cave in here. I want to fill this room in the painting of the giant bird spreading his wings in the Ypres Mountains. I think it would be the perfect symbol for her stable. Does this picture work? Could it be? Yeah, I have a picture of it. Thank you. Quite a sight, isn't it? The land really does look like a giant bird with its wings outstretched. Oh. Hard not to marvel at the artistry of nature in the face of such majesty. Okay, Zelda team, patting, patting yourself on the back with your own terrain making tools. Whip up a reproduction. Painting. Painting noises. The paint and the brush and the boom, boom, boom. Oh, yeah. Aww. That's spectacular. You could search the world and never find a more perfect painting for a stable. This is tremendous. Thank you. Aww. Show appreciation. Give me a pony point. Aww. Take this too. Spicy meat stew. All right, that's not complete. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, I've done 13 of these? Hmm. Well, I think the last stable there is to check is Gerudo Canyon stable. I know it's kind of a closed stable, but I do remember there being three picture frames. I don't think he actually let me put any pictures in them, though. He just mentioned something about putting pictures in them. Yeah, right. He has two picture frames here. Ah, Link, has an empty frame caught your eye? I was so focused on cleaning up, I completely forgot about these frames. The stable says she sends at me. I love stable a lot. After the good years it's given me, I'd like to put up something nice so it can go out in style. You know, I heard an interesting story from a Rito traveler who stopped by here once. Cass? Huh? This is a local attraction nearby. Spectacle Rock. Just check her map. The place is famous. This traveler told me that while they were flying over Spectacle Rock, they glanced down and saw it smiling. <laughs> That's what I want to frame. What could be better than sending the stable off with a smile? It's just a shame that I can't fly to capture that view for myself. But if I even had a picture of the smiling spectacle rock, I could copy it for the frame and cheer things up in here. What about this? Why do you, you have two? Turns out the stable association sent me two frames by mistake. Kind of ironic given we're about to close. Well, far be it for me to look a gift horse in the mouth. Might as well use the other frame to bid the stable farewell in style. I think a picture of the giant sword stuck into a peak in the Grudel Highlands is the neat goodbye this stable deserves. Aww. It's just northwest of here, but I won't be able to go see it. I have cleaning to do. So it's just cold in the Grudel Highlands. Even a copy picture of the giant sword would liven up this old place. Okay. Smiling spectacle rock seems like that would be a bit more difficult. But Grudo Highland shouldn't be something too difficult. And these will be the final photography quests. I also do remember that there is a Gleaco right over here by the sword that he's talking about. I mean, I don't need to fight it. I can take a good picture of it from right here. Just don't notice me. It noticed me. Uh-oh. <laughs> you know, this is a bit of a funny picture. <laughs> oh no! Oh, ouch. Yeah, I'm out of here. Let's eat some food. And go up the Skyview Tower. Alright, Smiling Spectacle Rock. How's this gonna be a thing? So I'm gonna have to go over here, which I've never actually been to. I've never been to any of these. Hmm. Well, this might have some fairies for me. No? Lamb. I can freeze a rock up to my shield. Oh, wait. Do I actually need to be flying to get a picture of the Spectacle Rock? Kinda sounds like a pain. But okay. How would this be a thing? I go over to this island here. I've never actually been over here. And there is just a plain old shrine. Man, also, that looks interesting. I gotta explore this a little bit in the next episode. Spectacle Rock smiling. <laughs> it's an illusion. Smiling Spectacle Rock. Oh, I wish I could get a picture of Link smiling alongside the smile, but that's great. Look at that. Zelda team is funny. Actually... I want to get a better picture. Yeah. There we go. You're back. You're really back. Oh, it's good to see another face around here. Thank you so much. Now let's frame a picture. Really? You brought me both of the pictures I wanted? So, which one do I get to see first? The grand on Spectacle Rock or that massive sword? The happy Rock. It really does look like it's smiling. <laughs> Every time I look at it, I smile too. Things got a little lonely around here once the stable closed, but having this here makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Uh... Thanks. Now whip up a reproduction. Ooh, painting. Oh, yep. Oh, yes. Perfect. To show my appreciation, I'm giving you one pony point. Ah. Oh, yes, and take this too. Chili mushroom risotto. Bunch of new dishes. Yes, yes. I knew the site would be just the thing to cheer me up. Reminds me of when this place was full of smiles. Now let's frame the other picture. Uh -huh. So this is a giant sword, huh? And so much bigger than I ever imagined. Uh, yeah. I knew it was out there, but finally getting my eyes on it. Wow, just wow. Now he's whipping up another reproduction as we speak. Uh -huh. It's perfect for the stable. And giving me a pony point. Uh -huh. Oh, yes, please take this too. Another mushroom risotto. I have to tell you, this is the last of the paintings to go out. By this bit of art, all the stables have been decorated. Oh, how did you know? From what I hear, it was you who helped get pictures put on the walls of the other stables too, Link. As a way of saying thanks for all your help. I'd like to give you a gift from the stable association. Please take it. A diamond? Okay. I have this for you too. 
Uh, hold on, it doesn't seem like you have room in your pouch. I was thinking of sending five servings of our stable's own specialty dish with you, but I hate not being able to thank you properly after you've done so much for us. I'll give you your gift once you've made room to carry it. Just come see me when you're ready. Okay, you should just- Oh, five servings? That means I need five- Okay, I'll just drink this. I'll drink this. I need the drink. I'll drink all of these I don't need. Probably not good to just drink a bunch of potions. Oh. Oh. Token to show her thanks. Enduring carrot cake times five. Restores and overfills your stamina wheel. Even those who don't like carrots tend to enjoy the mild sweetness of this cake. All right. All of the stables have been decorated. There we go. Well, with that, our long adventure with Link the Photographer is now over. And of course, I'm going to end this episode with the final amiibo scan that I have. A bunch of herbs. So it's Zelda. And we get a ruby. The amiibo was, oh, Breath of the Wild Zelda. And now can you guys believe that there is exactly one week until episode 100 of this series? Until we go to the final boss and complete this game after a whole year since the first episode. We're kind of running out of stuff to do in this game, believe it or not. Or at least out of the stuff that I found. So I think in the next episode, I'm going to focus on just kind of exploring all of the Sky Islands that I've never been to. I think next episode can be a Sky Island focused episode. So what I'll start doing after that is finally going and starting to do more of these shrines. Also, maybe going to the Tabant the Great Bridge and finally doing this one dialogue or whatever. And I somehow still haven't managed to find all of these. So yeah, for this final week of Tears of the Kingdom, there's going to be a lot of exploration, a lot of shrines getting completed, and maybe a lot of Korhux being helped as well. And if you're excited for this final week of Tears of the Kingdom, as well as you enjoyed this photography episode that I'm going to have to cut down a whole bunch, then of course remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you know I'm going to upload a new video. Links for everything else will be in the description below, and I will see you later, Awesomites. Goodbye!